Good Friday morning. Tropical storm Elsa, Elsa strengthened last night and this morning, and it is bringing tropical storm conditions already to Barbados and beginning to push into the windward and leeward islands. As we look at the latest 5 a.m. advisory, Max has seen winds of 60 miles an hour moving west northwest quickly at 28 miles an hour. Tropical storm warnings and watches in place for the Lesser Antilles. Hurricane watch in place now for Hispaniola as well as a tropical storm warning and a tropical storm watch for Jamaica as Elsa is expected to continue moving. Moving west northwest into the Caribbean, but notice how even parts of Puerto Rico could be dealing with tropical storm conditions. That's the area shaded in yellow that extends well out and away from the center and the cone. Yeah, we're looking at tropical storm conditions likely for Hispaniola as we head into tomorrow for Haiti, Dominican Republic, and then eventually could be moving near or over parts of Jamaica. Right now, the center of Elsa is expected to move across Cuba. Of course, that could change, but for now, it is likely that tropical storm conditions will be affecting Cuba as we head into Sunday and then in through Monday. Notice how we could even see those tropical storm conditions across the Keys late Sunday night overnight into Monday morning and then pretty much most of the state of Florida is now included in that cone as we head into early next week. There is a lot of uncertainty and I'll show you why. Although the models are tightly packed together and in agreement over the next few days here into the weekend that also will move west northwest into the Caribbean. There's a lot of uncertainty as to what happens as we get into the Sunday and Monday and Tuesday time frame. Notice how the models just fan out and are all over the place. Some of the models even steering Elsa possibly to our east or the Bahamas, but the majority of the models though steering Elsa either over Cuba or to the west of Cuba, potentially into the Gulf of Mexico. It is too early to tell. Also, there's the question of how much land interaction could impact the storm and the strength of the storm. And keep in mind if high pressure, which is currently steering it is weaker and it steers a little bit more to the east, then that would be a weaker storm. And then if it's steering more towards the west, northwest, or to the west, and it moves into the very warm waters of the Gulf, then that would likely mean a stronger storm. So here it is, a strong high in the Atlantic, which is currently steering it. But the question is, how strong will that high remain? And will there be a break in the block allowing Elsa to move more to the north or the northwest or the west northwest? We are going to have to watch this closely. And you're going to need to stay updated throughout the weekend. So yes, in terms of the closest approach to South Florida and the Keys, it would be Monday and Tuesday. And for now, we're not expecting a hurricane threat, but it's again too early to tell the exact storm impacts. At this point in time, as we're getting off to a very busy start to the season, you should already be prepared. But we're not urging you to prepare anything at this time and stay up to date as we head throughout the weekend.